Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Labs. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a skill for Amazon Alexa from start to finish. And this is actually a remake of a video that I originally published in March of 2017, but a lot's changed since then. So I'm gonna just walk through it uh, in a sort of updated version. So we're gonna go pretty quick. I'm gonna to try to finish it as, uh, as fast as I can but you will need two things to follow along. You'll need an account at developer.amazon.com and you'll also need an Amazon Web Services account which you can get at aws.amazon.com. So if you don't have accounts at both of these places, you go sign up and then once you've signed up, you just wanna go ahead and log in. And uh, after you've logged into the developer council, you would go to Alexa over here and then to the Alexa skills kit here. And then in the Alexa skills kit, you choose uh, add a new skill. And we're gonna call this one um, Space Facts. And we'll make the invocation name Space Facts too. And this skill is gonna be a skill that's based on uh, <clears throat> an example that Amazon provides. So once you have that, you're to this point, then you can go over to uh, Amazon Web Services and you can sign in to the council there. And after you've signed up, of course, the AWS account actually is, um, there's a free tier, so nothing that we're doing here will cost you anything, but it will prompt you for a credit card when you sign up. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to the Lambda Council. So you go uh, under Services, Compute, and then you go to Lambda. And like I said, we're going to create um, this from a blueprint that Amazon provides. So when you go, I went through that quick, let me go back. So you go here, you go Create Function. And if you don't have any functions, the screen will look a little bit different, but there will be a big orange create function button that you want to press or click. And then you want to select blueprints here. And then if you um, just filter this with Alexa, it'll filter and you want to select this template here, the Alexa Skills Kit uh, SDK Fax Skill. This is the one that we're going to use. And we're just going to call this space um, facts like that. And if this is the first time that you're creating a Lambda function, you want to select uh, create a custom role and it'll step you through creating a role which provides the permissions for the function to run. If you've already created a, a function at some point in the past, you can choose this uh, existing role here and then you would select the role that you want to use and it creates a default one called lambda underscore basic execution. So that's what I'm gonna use for this example. And then you can see here, uh, there's some boilerplate code for the blueprint for this uh, skill that's gonna provide space facts. And I just go create function. And then this has changed quite a bit from the, uh, the last time around, but uh, basically doing the same thing. You wanna set up so that the function can run when a request comes from the uh, Alexa skills kit, which is over at the Amazon Developer Council, you set up what's referred to as a trigger. And if you go over here on the add trigger on the left hand side, you want to select this Alexa skills kit trigger right there. And then just down here, you would choose add and save. And now the function's all uh, set up, and so we can go back over to the developer console, but before doing that, we wanna copy this ARN here. So we're gonna need this, so you just wanna select that and copy it, and then go back over to the developer.amazon.com uh, console to your Alexa space facts skill, and um, we're gonna go over here to, I'm skipping uh, real quick. We're gonna go to configuration and then uh, select AWS Lambda ARN. And we're gonna paste that ARN in that we just copied from the um, AWS Lambda Council and save that. And now this, how I did this in the last video, this has changed too because they've updated the example. So, 
We're gonna use this time around the um, skill builder to create the interaction model. So you go to launch skill builder here. And you can, I could go through and set up the required uh, information for this, but I'm going to cheat and show you how to cheat also. If you go to the code editor here and then go to GitHub and go to github.com slash Alexa, you can grab the interaction model from the, um, uh, this not ABS sample, or is it facts? Uh, probably right in front of me. Mm, I think it's this one, but yes, it is. Okay, so then from here, you would go uh, to interaction model.json here and um, just select all this and just grab the raw. You wanna copy that just like that and then go back over to the um, uh, skill builder and then paste that in. Hold on. Let's leave the language model in there like that. And then apply changes. Okay, and then we can save it and then build it. And it'll take a minute to, uh, to build, so I'm going to just pause the recording and then come back when it's done. Okay, so now the interaction model is done building, so I can go over here and test it to see if everything is working. At this point, we should be done and it should should work, hopefully, we'll try it out. Just enable the testing. And then from here, you can um, use the service simulator down here to test it. You can say open uh, space facts, right? And so we got our fact back here. We can listen to that. Here's your fact. A total solar eclipse can happen once every one to two years. This makes them a rare event. Okay, so the skill is all up and working. It's really that simple. It, you can, at this point, if you've set up your developer <coughs> account using the same account that you use to set up your Echo, if you have an Echo, then you will also be able to test this with your live Echo. So I'll do that with my Echo here. Alexa, open space facts. Here's your fact. The Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 5 billion years. Okay, so that's it. That is creating a very simple Amazon Alexa skill using one of the, uh, the Amazon uh, blueprint, skill blueprints, the fact blueprint. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave those and uh, I will reply as quickly as I can. If you found this video valuable, please uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel and like the video. Thanks so much.